So I'll be talking about Terrainformer. It's a terrain tool I made um, to replace the built-in Unity terrain. And I started making it because of, for example, with Unity's built-in terrain, say I just have a brush like this. Um, I, I have to actually move the mouse for starters to actually start painting. I can't just simply keep it and hold it down. Another annoying thing is that if I want to paint anything bigger than this area, I, I, I literally can't. I, I can only make a bigger brush, but then this, this brush is all very horrible. So, in Terrainformer it works a lot better. I can just simply make a brush as big as the entire terrain if I want to. Of course it's a little bit slower, but it's still very, very doable. And it'll, I'm still making performance improvements for it, even now. Um, also, as you can also notice, if I just click and hold, it, it keeps painting in the same area. I also made it so you can actually add your own brushes in. You can add your own ones in Trainformer, Textures, and then Brushes. And all they are are just simply black and white textures. Uh, another thing about Unity's built-in tools is, say I have this ugly terrain right here, this weird bumpy, bumpy looking stuff. When I try to smooth it, it, it smooths the, like, visual problem of it, but it doesn't fix any of the, the part where my mouse is, like, it doesn't fix the actual proper ramp, to, like, the, the ramp to get up there. <laughs> I can't get the proper, proper word for it. Um, but with my tool, it actually generally b b blends the entire terrain area together, so you can actually make like a ramp or something with it. And of course, I can actually smooth the entire thing if I want to at the same time. Another thing about Unity's terrain tools is, say I have, I'll make it a smaller brush. I can like this, but paint here and. It, Say if I'm in an area like this, if I paint here and then just paint there, all of a sudden, because the mouse is, is not hitting anything anymore, all of a sudden it jumps over there. My terrain tool, Terrainformer, um, f fixes this by by not using a raycast um, for the mouse painting. Meaning, if I click and drag here, you'll notice... Actually, I'll make it a bit, a bit slower. You'll notice that it only paints in this one area. This just works by I'll make it a smaller brush so I can show you easier. So about here. It essentially makes this virtual plane on the area that, that I started painting on initially. Meaning it doesn't actually get um, obstructed by anything in the way. This can be especially useful for bumpy parts like this. And of course th there are some times where you do want to have the ray cast, so there's an option here to enable it. And as you can see, with it enabled, it does just use a raycast. Um, it also has um, set height, and of course, Unity's one has the exact same tool as well. Except for my one, you can obviously paint much more terrain at once. It also has flatten, which allows you to say flatten the top of a mountain like this, or you can flatten out a certain section like this. And then in doing so, you can then, say, smooth it out and have this different shape. There's other flatten modes, such as Bridge, which uh, essentially extends out and also... Well, it, it works just like Flatten, except for Flatten only flattens it. Bridge actually flattens the terrain and extends it out as like this. And of course, it, it works just by... Whichever of whichever height I'm clicking on, it'll actually paint out from that. So I can paint this like little outing part on this mountain. It's all very messy. Just um, I'm, I'm I'm just showing a very ultra simple example of what you can really do. You'll extend is only extending. It does not um, flatten any terrain higher than it. It only extends the terrain out. 
and other features are for example currently only raise lower and um, set height have an interactive mode basically if you hold control you can interactively make a bump or say if you, if you move the mouse down you can make a, a hole in the ground like that and of course I can change the brush to be say this and it'll make a bump like this or like that and a nice thing about this this main round brush is actually a procedural brush where you can actually you can change the fall off using a curve so in this case it'll be a linear fall off meaning it'll make a sort of straight but hey, I'll turn off the raycast so you can see with a linear fall off it essentially creates a cone if I say change it to this, it'll make sort of a strongy, strong type of pointy cone. And of course, um, full off does not affect any of these um, custom brushes, so it is, it is just disabled. And this roundness will be implemented soon. That's just um placeholder. Um, another thing is flatten the set, uh, set height. You can also interactively set the height. So say if I want to make it say 58 meters up in the air, it'll I'll be able to interactively bring up the terrain up to that height. And it's also re really ultra simple generation tools. Currently all there is is just a, this ramp generator that generates this ramp based on this curve. No, nothing too special there, but, but in the future that, that there might be some simple noise generation and some other, probably some radial terrain generation as well. Um, that's, that's it. Uh, I hope you like it. You can find it on the Unity Asset Store.